been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting in His grace as Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed? Are you washed in the blood? In the blood, in the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb. Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Lay aside the garments. Anisa, wana Yesu apewe sifa. Tuwashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa siku jema ya furaha, siku ambayo Bwana ametupatia ili tukaweze tena kuifurahia kwa maana kwa ajili ya Mungu tunaishi. Kwa ajili yake tumepewa hiyo uwezo wa kuishi na pia kusikia neno lake. Ni jambo kuu ambalo Mungu alifanya kwetu, akaamua kujifunua uh, kwetu sisi ambao hatungeweza kumfahamu kwa maana sisi mawazo yetu ni ya kiasi ama ni nduni kiasi ya kwamba hatuwezi kumjua Mungu lakini Mungu mwenyewe akaamua kujifungua ama kujifunua kwetu ili tukaweza kumfahamu na kumjua vema tunashukuru kwa siku ya leo siku njema ya Bwana ambayo Bwana ataenda kunena nasi ningependa kwa siku ya leo tukaweze kusoma katika kitabu cha uh, Wakorintho wa kwanza uh, sura hiyo ya kumi na moja Nasoma kuanzia mstari wa 23 hadi mstari wa 26. Ah uh, na Biblia inasema ya kwamba do this in my remembrance. Kwa hivyo ningependa uh, kichwa cha mahubiri ya siku ya leo ni do this in my remembrance. Juu ya mesa ya Bwana ama the Lord's table. Father in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you because of this uh, opportunity that you've given us that we can hear you speak to us. I want to thank you because of the teachings that we are going to get from this book of 1 Corinthians concerning the Holy Communion. You did this for us and you are calling us to remember. So as we listen from you, I pray that Jehovah God that you are going to help us to understand all what you have for us this uh, this time. I want to thank you because of the sick, because God that you are going to heal them. I want to thank you God because of the believed, because you are going to uh, comfort them. I pray for the discouraged because God that you are going to encourage them and I pray that God that you are going to uplift our souls as we entirely seek your face Lord awaiting for the coming kingdom so bless us as we listen your word this is our prayer in Jesus name we pray amen the bible says as Paul wrote to the church of uh, of Corinth for I received from the Lord what I also passed to you uh, to you the Lord Jesus On the night he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and uh, he had give, uh, he broke it the bible says uh, he broke it and said this is my body which is for you do this in my remembrance in the same way After supper he took the cup saying the cup is the new covenant in my blood do this whatever you drink uh, you drink it in remembrance of me for whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup you proclaim the lord's death until he comes may the lord bless his word Uh as I grew up as a young boy uh I had so many questions about the Lord's uh, table uh and uh things of the holy communion they are not much taught but uh the spirit of God was reminding me from the the very passage that we have read that was written uh by the servant of God Paul to the church of Corinth the church of Corinth was a church that was in a mess they it was a gifted church but there were so many issues that we are coming up in the church ranging from administrative issue to doctrinal issues to character issues and uh, we find that the servant of God is addressing the issue of the order of worship how they worshiped God when they gathered together 
And one of the things that brought our, our confusion, apart from the spiritual gifts, was the issue of the Holy Communion, the way the people took the issue of the Holy Communion. So Paul begins by saying, For I received from the Lord what I'm passing to you. So Paul that, uh, makes it clear that uh, the issue of the Holy Communion is not based on his own opinion. It does not come from him. Neither does it come from the church. Neither does it come from the religious, uh, uh, the li uh, the religious uh, 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 sect. But it is something that came direct from the Lord himself, that is the Lord Jesus. And he's saying that what I received from Jesus, whether through direct revelation or uh, through receiving from others, Paul brings it, uh, makes it clear to the church of Corinth that whatever I'm about to, uh, to do to you, the instruction that I'm about to, I'm about to give you con uh, concerning the Holy Communion, I received from the Father. And he said that I passed to you. It is not that the Holy Communion is something that is served for Paul, but it's something that he received to pass it to the, to the church, to the body of believers, people who have believed in Jesus Christ. Then he says that the Lord Jesus, on the night that he was betrayed, he brings the idea of the Last Supper of Jesus Christ when he said with his disciples, and on that very night, what, uh, what transpired? The Bible says that there was betrayal because the, uh, Paul says that that night that he was betrayed, so the issue of betrayal is brought, uh, is brought about, that it was through betrayal that Jesus Christ uh, uh, was crucified or handed uh, to the uh, cruel hands of the Roman soldiers. Then the Bible says that during that night of betrayal, on that night, uh, he took bread. He was seated with his disciples. He took bread. And uh, when he had given thanks, the Bible uh, narrates that he broke it, there is the issue of broke, uh, breaking it. He broke the bread, and uh, uh, after breaking it, he gave uh, it unto the disciples. After, uh, then he told them, this is my body, which is for you. This body, do this in remembrance of me. As you take this body, as you take this uh, bread, take it in remembrance of me. In the same way, after taking uh, the bread, the Bible says that he took a cup, after giving thanks, he said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do, uh, uh, do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. The word remembrance, the phrase remembrance of me is repeated. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Three things that we should remember during the time of the Holy Communion. The first thing is that the price of our salvation. The price of our salvation. Nibizuri tujue garama ya wetu, tukumbuke, tukumbuke. And uh, the elements that are used, that, uh, the, the, uh, the bread, uh, which represent the incarnate body of, uh, body of Jesus Christ. Yesu wana toa kwetu, tunapokula mkate, kambio wanafunza na wakumbusha ya kwamba, mnapokula mkate, ukumbusho wa garama ya wakovu, usipote katika mawaza yenu. You should not, you should not forget that there is a price of salvation. Remember this, always as you take, as you communion together, remember the price of, uh, of salvation. In regard to the bread, uh, the body, the incarnate body of Jesus, the wine that he gave to them in remembrance of the blood that was shed. And remember the Bible says in Hebrews, without the shedding of blood, uh, without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. So it is good as believers, as we gather together to fellowship in the Holy Communion, let us not do it as a religious exercise. But we should have the real meaning, the remembrance. Let us remember, let us have the true picture of the Holy Communion. As we gather together, let us, as we take the bread, as we take the wine, let us not just take it as a formality. Let us have the true remembrance of the salvation, the price of salvation, the price that Christ paid for us uh, uh, to get saved. So as we join together in the Holy Communion, let us have those pure thoughts 
Let us have that value. Let us exist and be reminded of the value of the blood, the value of the salvation. Even though we were given free, but it's not cheap. It is not just cheap. It is very expensive, but we are given free. Let us appreciate it. Let us have the true memory of the, uh, of the, of the death of Jesus Christ on the cross. So it's good cool that as we uh, are fellowship in the Holy Communion, we have the remembrance of the price of salvation. The second thing that uh, the Bible is calling us, and the Spirit of God was reminding me of remembrance, is about the coming kingdom. He said in verse 26, do this until I come. Jesus reminds them that even after death, there is a time that is going to come, a glorified Jesus who is going to judge the, uh, who is going to judge both the living and the dead. So, he is coming for his kingdom. He is going to establish his, king, uh, his kingdom. Whether it's the millennial or, the, uh, 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 or, uh, or the, uh, the life in eternity. He is coming. So, as you do this, remember me that I'm coming. So, the Holy Communion, the thoughts of us, uh, Jesus Christ coming back again should not uh, escape our minds. Many other times we just remember the dead. But it's cool that we know that it was not just meant for the dead alone. As we do it constantly, it reminds us of Jesus Christ who is coming. Remember what he told the disciples. He told them that I'll not take this fruit, uh, uh, this produce of the, uh, of the pig again until this, uh, this produce of the figs again until I'll take it, uh, I'll take it anew or afresh in, in the presence of my father. Sitakula uzao, ama kunya uzao wa misabibu tena, mpaka nitaka pokunya katika ufaume wa mbingu. Kwa hivyo, mesa rabwana, we cannot just, uh, 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 we cannot uh, just take it uh, literally, but let us know that it was also pointing us to the second coming of Jesus Christ. My brothers and my sisters, it's good that we know that our Father who is uh, at in heaven gave us this, uh, 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 this uh, 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 he gave us the Holy Communion, a practice that we should keep on doing it because it's a practice that is reminding us of the second uh, coming of our Lord Jesus. Kwa hivyo, wapendo ningependa tuju ya kwamba, inatukumbusha ya kwamba Yesu Kristo, inatukumbusha juu ya ufaume wa mungu ambao nakuja. Kuna ufaume ambao sisi ambao tumeokolewa, tunao tarajia. Kwa hivyo, tunapo kumbuka, tukumbuke ya kwamba, una ufaume wa mungu unao kuja. Jambo la tatu, Ama the third thing that we should remember, we should remember the devil is at work. Remember the verse that we read in the verse in verse 23, the night that he was betrayed. It also reminds us that during this time of the Holy Communion, we should remi be reminded that the devil is still at work. Sometimes we live as if the devil has gone for uh, 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 has taken leave his annual leave. But I want to remind, uh, uh, the Bible reminds us that the night, the very night that they were celebrating the Holy Communion was the very night that Jesus Christ was betrayed. Many other times, believers, that we forget that the devil is at work. The, the, the business of betrayal is still at work. The business of accusation from the kingdom of hell is still at work. So my brothers and my sisters, I want to remind you that uh, uh, as we remember, uh, Jesus said that do this in my remembrance. Re let us re be reminded of the price of salvation. Let us be reminded of the coming kingdom. Let us be reminded of uh, that the devil is at work. Shetani angali katika kazi. Na utaona ya kwamba from the, 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 the passage that follows, the servant of God gives clear uh, instruction to the church of calling because they had started to misuse this issue of the, the entire practice of the Holy, uh, Holy Communion. I beg with, uh, with you, my brother and my sister, that let us be reminded that the devil wants to dilute the devil wants to dilute the, the importance of the Holy Communion. It is a serious thing that we should do because it is one of the things, 
Apart from the praises and worship that we'll be worshiping God when we go to heaven, the Holy Communion is one thing that we are reminded that when we go to heaven is something that we'll, uh, uh, we'll also uh, find ourselves doing. So the devil is still at work and anataka to chukulie mambo ya meza ya bwana kama ni kitu cha mchezo. Kwa hivyo angali katika kazi anateza mioyo yetu na kuonyesha ya kwamba vile mambo ya meza ya bwana sio ya muhimu katika maisha yetu. Ni vizuri tujue ya kwamba ni vizuri tujue ya tukumbuke mambo haya. Fanyeni hivi kwa kunikumbuka. Kana kwamba tunakumbuka gharama ya ukovu, tunakumbuka juu ya ufaume wa mbingu na tunakumbuka kana ya kwamba shetani angali katika kazi. Tujue ya kwamba tunayo a, kazi ya kufanya kuondoa mawazo nduni juu ya meza ya Bwana juu ya maisha yetu na tuzingatie yanayotufaa tukumbuke na tukumbuke ya kwamba kuna yule ambaye alikufa msalabani a yule ambaye alitezeka hili sisi tukapate kuokolewa hili sisi tukaweza kupu, a, kupona hayo mawazo yasitutoke katika maisha yetu tuyakumbuke wakati wote ambao tunasonga mbele na kupokea meza ya Bwana tujie ya kwamba kunao gharama tunao kumbushwa ya wokovu tunao kumbushwa mambo ya ufaume wa Mungu na vile vile tunakumbushwa kwamba shetani angali katika kazi aliye nasikia nasikia jinsi roho wa Bwana anavyonena na kanisa ningependa kanisa tuombe pamoja e Mwenyezi Mungu uliyeziumba mingu na inchi na kushukuru kwa sababu ya wema na fadhili zako asante Bwana kwa ukumbusho juu ya meza yako Asante Bwana tunaposhiriki katika meza yako wakati mwingi tumefanya kama mazoea. Mungu wa mbingu katika china la Yesu ninaomba ukatusamee. Kwa wakati ambapo Bwana tumedharau na kuichukulia meza yako kama ni jambo Mwenyezi Mungu isilo kuwa na maana. Na hili jambo lipata kanisa la Wakolindo na ndiposa ukatuma mtumishi wako a, Sauli ili akaweze kuwaletea ufahamu wa kweli juu ya meza la Bwana. Asante Bwana kwa sababu umenena nasi and you are still reminding this last days church that still the importance of the holy communion that as we communion together we should be reminded of the price of our salvation that we should be reminded that there is a kingdom that is coming that we should be reminded that the devil is still at work Jehovah God I pray that you forgive us because of the many times that you have taken the holy communion for granted forgive our sins and make us the kind of people that you want us to be. We love you, Father, and we pray that your grace will be sufficient. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Are you washed, are you washed in, the blood, in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white?